It's a continuation of Monday's notes, and on Monday we went over two examples. So this is actually example three. So if you just want to go back to Monday's notes and just add example three and knock yourself out, if you weren't here on Monday, just write more compound inequalities. We're going to get into some more compound inequalities now. Here we go. So example three, we did two on Monday, here we go. Negative three, less than, watch this now, 2k minus five, greater than, actually no, less than, seven. Boy, that looks a lot like a warm-up. Let's get K alone. Oh, add a 5 to the middle, add a 5 to the right, add a 5 to the left. This is almost like a replica of what we just finished, except different numbers. Less than, less than. I got the 2K in the middle. 7 plus 5 is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I got the 12 on the right. I got a negative 3 plus 5. What does that make? Thank you. Positive 2. Divide by 2 everywhere. That'll get rid of the 2 and get k alone. Divide by to that, I got k alone. Greater than and less than. So it's two things at one time. So k is going to be greater than this greater than 1 but also less than 6. Let's graph this puppy. So k has to be any number between those two numbers. One, open circle. Six, open circle. Chain everything in between. Done. All right, that was example three. Let's do example four. Now I'm going to throw a little curveball down. Look at this compound inequality. It's going to be separated by the word or. Watch. 3y minus 5, watch this now, 3y minus 5 is less than negative 8, or, look at the word or, or, or 2y minus 1 is greater than 5, 2y minus 1 is greater than 5. So this is a new kind of compound inequality that I haven't thrown at you yet. It's, they're separated by the word or. Notice. It's two and one still, but it's separated by this word or. Notice how it behaves now. Watch. I'm going to solve for y on this lone inequality here. I'll solve for y on this load inequality here. And I'm going to graph both inequalities on one number line. And notice what happens. Here, let's get y by itself. OK, so let's get rid of that 5. What would I do to both sides to get rid of that 5? Thank you. Good idea. Let's do it. Do it with me. So I'm going to get y by itself on this one, and then get y by itself on this one. And notice what happens. Bye bye to that, I got 3y less than negative 8 plus 5 is a negative 3. Cool. We'll divide by 3 on the left, divide by 3 on the right. Y then is less than negative 1. So 
So far, so good. Earphones off, Dr. Dennis. I'm going to do the exact same thing now, but on the right one. Add one to both sides. By, I got 2y greater than 6. Divide by 2. So y then is greater than 3. So look at the, our final solution has to have the word or in it. Y can be less than negative 1 or Y can be greater than 3 to solve either one of these original inequalities that we started off with. Let's graph this. Look what happens when we graph it. Check this out. We're going to graph both of these on one number line. Rodriguez, stay with me. Negative 1 on the left, positive 3 on the right. Obviously, it's a number line. Open or close at negative 1, anybody? Open or close? Open, because y is not equal to negative 1, so look, we have to open. And now we got to shade in values that are less than negative 1. Would that be to the left or to the right? Thank you. These are all values less than negative 1. We're going to shade this. Shade the arrow, because that communicates infinity, negative infinity. Okay, so far so good. Open or close at 3. Open again at 3. And now look at y has to be bigger, greater than 3. I'm shading to the right. Look at this, Benya. So whenever we have an or kind of compound inequality, the shading is done opposite directions. As opposed to in between two numbers. Notice that. Or is opposite, and is in between. The word and. So right here, this has to do with and. Look at k is greater than 1, and, and look at the word and, less than 6. k is two things at one time. It's greater than 1 and, and less than 6. So we shade in between two numbers. When you're dealing with an or problem, opposite directions. Last example. You guys have been good. That was example four. Last example. Here we go. Actually, two more examples. Here we go. Two p plus one. Less than negative seven. Or 3 minus 2p less than equal negative 1. We got the word or in it again. Okay, it's compound, it's or, so I already know in the end we're going to be shading opposite directions. Let's solve for the variable on each one individually. Let's solve for P on the left, solve for P on the right, we'll be rocking and rolling. What should I get rid of first, the two or the one here? The one, let's subtract one from both sides. Bye bye to that, 2P is less than, here we go, negative 7 minus 1. That's a negative 7 plus negative 1. That'll be a negative 8. Negative plus more negative is still negative. Right, Rocha? Just say yeah. Here's a man. Divide by 2. P then is less than. Nice. There's one solution for P. Now we'll put the word or. Let's solve for P over here. Do I get rid of the 3 first or the negative 2 first? Help. Get rid of the 3. It's farther from P. How though? You're the man. This is a plus 3. This is a positive 3, so I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. 
3 minus 3 is gone. I've got a negative 2p less than or equal to negative 1 plus a negative 3 is a negative 4 here. By? Negative 2, huh? Bye bye to that. What happens to that? Flips. Negative divided by negative, positive two. Let's graph this puppy. Negative 4, obviously on the left, 2 obviously on the right, it's a number line. Okay. Let's open or close that negative 4. Notice how the value of variable p is never going to equal negative 4, it's only going to be less than, so it's open. But it is going to be less than, so I'm going to show you the numbers that are less than negative 4 including the arrow communicating infinity to the left. Any number taken from that region of the number line will solve one of the inequalities. And then here, closed circle because p is equal. This is equal to 2 and greater than. So it's closed at 2. And I'm showing you the numbers that are greater than 2. Last example. Let's go to the next one. What am I say? Last but not least. Here we go. Uh, negative fourteen. <coughs> yeah, six. Negative fourteen greater than w plus three. So we're gonna solve for w. Or three w greater than negative twenty seven. Go ahead and try this one on your own for about five minutes. Try it. Raise your hand and be done. But try it. You got the or. Solve for W on the left, solve for W on the right. Get W's by itself with the or in between and then graph them. Now the stamp time. You got to be pushing for the stamp. What's next to the W here? Nothing. Yeah, there's a 3 here. No, no, it's for that. That's for the track, no? And then that's the line. W's alone, though. You know you're done, you're done with W's alone. Okay. 
You like rock and roll? No one has gotten it yet with the graph. Most of you, some of you got the solution with the graph. You see the question on it? No. Yeah. Go ahead. Those of you who are struggling, one of my favorite quotes out of all my quotes in my class is by a runaway slave who actually taught himself how to read and became a scholar, Frederick Douglass. Look at this quote, if there's no struggle, there's no progress. In other words, don't confuse this struggle with failure in math. Because you're struggling doesn't mean you're failing. That's part of the learning. you got to persevere through the struggle, right, Benya? Watch this now. Let's do this last one. So, Contreras Casadena got the stamp and almost got a stamp. See the mirrors.
Nicola Clutch. You're close. All right, let's review. If you didn't get it, you need to pay attention. This is the last one now. Watch. Let's get W by itself on the left. Um, I want to get W alone, so let's get rid of the 3. What's the inverse? Right and left. Look what happens. By W alone, I want that. Negative 14 minus a 3 is negative 14 plus negative 3. It means the same thing, negative 17. We're done there. Or, okay, so you should see your mistakes as I go through it now. Here, I want to get rid of the 3. What's the opposite of multiplication? Some of you are subtracting the 3. We're dividing by 3 here, ladies and gents. So W is greater than or equal to negative divided by positive is a negative 9. Here's my two solutions. Let me go ahead and graph these puppies now. Negative 17, negative 9. W, notice, is less than. It's less than. In other words, if Pac Man's e to the negative 17, so that means W is less than negative 17. And it's never going to equal to, so it's going to be open at negative 17. And the numbers that are less than negative 17 are to the left of negative 17. All the way to negative infinity. Here, W is equal to negative 9, so I'm going to put a closed dot. And it's bigger. The Pac-Man wants to eat the W, so W has to be bigger than negative 9. I'll shade in the number is bigger than negative 9. There's your solution set.